Hi, I'm Art Ringus, technical writer at IxiSoft. Today, I'm going to take a look at one of the features in IxiSoft CCMS Web 6.1, the Dependencies View. If you've used IxiSoft CCMS Desktop before, then you are already familiar with the basics of how this view works. But for IxiSoft CCMS Web 6.1, it has been reimagined by our product team to be a lot more straightforward to use and a lot nicer to look at, too. For those of you who might be new to IxiSoft CCMS, the dependencies view is a writer's best friend, or second best friend after content reuse. The dependencies view lets you see all the dependencies an object has. Dependencies are any link or relationship that might exist between two objects in the CCMS. The easiest example to understand this is an inline link, like an href. In the CCMS, a link is tracked as a reciprocal dependency between the two topics. The first topic references the second, links to it, and the second is a reference by the first, is linked to. This means if I look at either topic in the dependencies view, I'll be able to see that there is a link between the two topics and know which one is doing the linking. There are all kinds of dependencies in CCMS web. For each object, dependencies are categorized into different types, like referenced by or clone. And these types are broken down into subtypes, like maps, topics, images, and cross-references. Every type of object has different types of dependencies, though they often have similar ones. For instance, topics can reference images, content references, or other topics through related links and cross-references. Images don't reference other things at all. They're only ever referenced by other objects. However, both images and topics can have clone dependencies. In CCMS Web, you can view the dependencies of an object from pretty much anywhere. Just click the option icon and select Dependencies. You can do this on your My Assignments page, Map Preview, Map Editor, Topic Preview, Topic Editor, your favorite side panel, and, for writers, the Search Results page. Once selected, the Dependencies view appears. The Dependencies view shows all the dependencies for the object that you selected. The big bubbles at the top show all the different types of dependencies for that object, with the number of objects that fall into that type of dependency. The small bubbles are the objects with that type of dependency. So, for the map I'm viewing, you can see that it has three types of dependencies referenced by, references, and clones. For the references dependency type, any maps, topics, topics in relationship tables, and content references fall into this category. And they're all sorted, roughly, by object type here. So all the things in a map are sorted into this dependency type. For the two other dependency types, referenced by shows all the things that reference this map, like a parent map, and any clones of this map are here. And from this list, I can click on the cards to get more information about an object. In DRM, you can filter the dependencies by branch. Then it only shows objects in that branch with those types of dependencies. Keep in mind, the filter doesn't apply to the instances slash clones dependency type. Clones are only in the same branch, and other instances are only in other branches. Since you can only filter by the current branch the object you are viewing is in, it would always filter out other instances and other branches and never filter out clones in the same branch, so it really wouldn't do much. For any of the objects listed as a dependency here, I can check the dependencies of that object. Just click the dependencies view for an object to see the dependencies it has. And the screen reloads with the new object's dependencies. So I can start anywhere within the web of topics and maps to see all the different relationships by navigating through dependencies. Need to find the parent map? Here it is. Need to find the topic this one links to? That's over here. And I can see any images the topic references or referable content it points to as well. Want to see every topic that uses this image? They're all listed here. Every topic in CCMS web that uses this image. Being able to see dependencies, navigate through dependencies, is where CCMS Web goes from a structured authoring environment to full content management. 
I don't need to keep track of where a topic is used or where an image is used. I don't need to keep track of what images are used and what topics. I don't have to worry whenever I start cloning things for different releases. CCMS Web does all the tracking and never misses a thing. If you ever felt like you needed to hire a private investigator to figure out all the places that a road topic has been spotted, then this is the feature for you. A few clicks and you can find all the Wayward Topics associates. That's it for me. I hope the quick overview gave you a sense of not just how the dependency view works, but the sorts of things you can use it for. Tech writers are sometimes hesitant to edit topics because it means figuring out which topics are on which maps or where topics link. But I never have to worry about that with the ExeSoft CCMS. Dependencies view in CCMS web seems like a simple tool, but it's incredibly useful. Because all relationships are tracked, I don't have to worry about broken links. I can track content history across several clone topics, and I can easily check the scope of an object's use. It makes figuring out content strategy a whole lot easier.